What's going on my peoples? Today I'm going to show you my voice recording setup that I usually use. So you already know the mic. If you want to see that, I have a link to the video below in the description. And so we're going to start off with my mixer that I usually use. And I'm also going to show Audacity and Audition. Audacity is a free program that you can just go and get. Audition is paid, so you have to buy that one. But Audition, it's, it's you can use Audacity. It's not. It's just basically the same thing. All right, so this is my mixer I use. It's called Voice Meter Banana. So what I use this for is to add a noise gate. It's the main thing, is to add a noise gate. I also add the EQ on here. I don't need to. I could use that in Audacity, which I will show you later, but that's just so I don't have to do it later in editing. If You, you can also do compression in here. So if you see, it kind of evens out my voice a little more, but then it picks up extra background noise, which I don't like, which is why I just prefer to do the compression after I've already removed the noise in Audacity. And you can also use the EQ. This is the settings I have right now if you want to copy that. And this is a free program. Just go download it from, just search Voice Meter Banana. You'll find it. And you can also use this as, right here is my microphone. This is actually my desktop audio, so I actually can control it if I want to hear more of the audio or more of my voice. Or over here, if I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So that's okay too. And yeah, I really like this program. You can use it. It's very good, very nice. So this is Audacity. So I'm just gonna record something real quick. Peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza. I don't know why I said it like that. So now I got this one. You can hear this. Oh wait, duh. I have to play it through this. There we go. Peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza. I don't know. So I got that. Now what I'm going to do is Take out the background noise. So how you do that is take this portion, go to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, click on the whole thing, effect, noise reduction, click OK. And see, the line went down, the background noise is gone. Hear it again, you won't hear the background noise. Woo! Didn't mean to click that. Peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza. I don't know why. So you can see the background noise is now gone. Another effect which you should use, which I already did that on mine, but is EQ. Equalization. There we go. I'm dumb. But yeah. So usually, this is what I usually do. I have a uh, cutoff at around like 90 hertz. And I just have that drop right off. So that way you don't get some of the hums and stuff. Same thing up here. At right here just have that drag off so then I boost a little bit right here and then a little bit so this is a boost at like 9,000 Hertz and you also want to boost at like right there at like 6,000 that's what I usually do. And also cut out muddiness of the voice you want to get a cut off like right in this area right there between 325 and 350 because that's where the muddiness is going to come from and you also if you want to add a little more bass to the voice what you do is you boost around that so do this and boost that a little bit behind that and that's about what i would usually use set that play it again peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza and there I don't we know go. Why so the next thing you want to do is normalize your audio. This is what I do is just normalize. Go to about negative four-ish. Can't find four in the thing apparently. Do that. Now, peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza. I don't know why I said it like that. So as you can see, that's much better than when we first had it like this peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza compared to this peanut butter and chicken nuggets is a test subject for pizza and that's I don't know why I audacity said it like that. don't switch over to audition 
Okay, we're now in Adobe Audition. This is the audio I just recorded. So I'm going to show you how to edit in Audition. Let's just choose this random part. Right over here when I was talking, I guess. Or over here. If I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So that's okay. All right. So remember the same thing. Go over to effects, noise reduction, capture noise print. Okay. Select the whole thing, noise reduction, noise reduction, apply. And there you, so you can see the noise of it is gone. Over here, if I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. And now the next step, you always got to make sure you do this before anything else, just like I showed you on Audition, is the EQ. So what you got to do is effects. Filter and EQ and parametric equalizer. There's a bunch of other presets in here. This is the one I used to use for YouTube preset. Gotta slightly adjust this a little bit. That's about good right there. Click apply. And bam. Got the EQing. Now let's hear that over here. If I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. You don't need to do that considering I've already EQ'd it through voice meter right now though. So I'm just going to take that off. All right. And now effects. The next last thing you want to majorly do is compression, which is how you get all your name, how you get the sounds to all be about the same. This is what I usually would use right here boosts so it's all about the same now let's listen to it over here if i want to not hear my voice but also let the recording pick up my voice i can do that so that's okay too and yeah i really like this program you can use it but what i do sometimes if i want to do this i go to mastering and i just add it's like subtle clarity but i call it youtube i just take the reverb off because i don't like the reverb you can hear what that's over like. here. If I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So, and then I'll compress it. Apply. And this is usually the over here. If I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So that's okay too. And yeah, I really like this program. You can use it. So as you can see, it's much better than just this over here. If I want to not hear my voice, but also let the recording pick up my voice, I can do that. So that's okay too. And yeah. All right. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you helped you in some way or another. If you did, make sure you subscribe and tell me what else you need help with. I'm here to help, but that's all I'm trying to do. And I might not be good at this, but um, I'm here to help. I don't know what I'm going to do else. I got nothing else to do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.